All right, good morning. That's uh, Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. October 29. Chuck has just entered the bathroom. We're all packed up. Uh, Joe Wallace, who was <clears throat> nice enough to give us a ride yesterday in the go-kart, uh, has just left. Uh, Bob Kurkowski, too. They, he spent the night with us as well. Uh, we all had coffee, did a little talking, and gone our own ways. Chuck's hitting the boys' room. I figured it's time for a little church at the track. I didn't make it up into the the tower this time, but um, I do have something for you. I did a little praying this morning and, and asked God to give me a message for you all. Um, we're in Proverbs 24. Uh, don't envy the wicked. This is uh, um, verse uh, 20 or chapter 24, verse 19 and 20. Uh, let's let's go up a little first. Um, we'll start at uh, verse 15. I'm in the uh, the Living Bible translation because it's a little more plain English. O oh, evil man, leave the upright man alone and quit trying to cheat him out of his rights. Don't you know that this good man, though you trip him up seven times, will each time rise again. But one calamity is enough to lay you low. Do not rejoice when your enemy meets trouble. He's talking to us, the Christians, right? Let there be no gladness when he falls. For the Lord may disple be displeased with you and stop punishing him. Don't envy the wicked. Don't covet his riches. For the evil man has no future. His light will be snuffed out. <sighs> Lord, uh, you know, I, I asked the Lord to give me, give me the words to speak here. Um, here in... in uh, the beginning of, of Proverbs 24, it talks about um, godless men and how you shouldn't enjoy their company. You shouldn't be hanging around with godless folks. Um, that uh, strong drink is, is, is a mocker. Um, it's raging. These are all Proverbs 20, uh, uh, verse 1, uh, talking about alcohol, how um, whosoever is deceived by being drunk, uh, being jacked up, is not wise. Um, the theme this morning seems to be wisdom. And uh, folks, if you don't, if you can't see what's happening in the world right now, I don't know how much worse it needs to get for, for, for folks to start busting out this Bible. This book, in, in all its translations, you could pick one translation and it still outsold every book on the planet uh, forever past and into the history of forever. Um, we need to, st we as believers, followers of the way, you call yourself a Christian, whatever you're comfortable with. If you're not reading this book, you're not doing yourself any, you're not a wise person. Um, you can't, you can't complain about not being left in, uh, let in the door or, or, or Christ, as he says in the, in the New Testament, um, after these people said, uh, we, we've cast out demons, we've done this, we've done that in your name. And he says, leave, leave me, flee from me before I, I never knew you. Um, we tend to, to confuse ourselves. Uh, drinking, smoking, dope, drugs, pills, prescription, pharmaceuticals, pharma. Um, all of it opens a door to a world uh, that you, you cannot master. We are... are, are reality-based, right, uh, physical human beings, spirit beings living in a physical body. And uh, it doesn't matter whether, you, I mean, if you're watching this, you, you're still watching this, you obviously read a Bible and you, and you believe, so you understand what I'm saying. At some point, this corruptible body is going to go back to the dirt that it came from, and the, the spirit, the soul inside is going to go back to where it came from, which is from God, your Creator. And uh, we're all going to have to answer we're all going to have to answer, and uh, if you, you could be a good person, a nice person, but if you're not biblically wise, like it says here, you can't hang around with with queers and 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 uh, trannies and and drunks and dopers, thinking, well, I'm I'm the light in the room, you know, I'm the one that's going to lead them to Jesus. What happens is, <laughs> it's just like one drop of pee in a glass of water. It's just one drop but it ruins the whole glass. 
um, they will slowly but surely drag you down into their dark world. So the message this morning is be wise. See what's going on in the news. Don't watch too much of it because they're programming you. They're trying to push you in a certain direction. Um, but wherever you find your news, pay attention to it. Apply it to your Bible. And my, my prayer is that, that you, would, you would become a wise, biblical-thinking person. And that it would direct you in your own life to be a little more strict with the, the fringes. Uh, when, when you're out, out and about and you, you know, you're not thinking about the Lord and you're not thinking about um, the laws and the rules and, and what it's going to take for you to get up from your knees a good and faithful servant when it's time for you to be judged. So um, Proverbs, read Proverbs. It's, it's a wonderful Old Testament book along with the Psalms. Um, that's all I got for you. God speak, God bless. I'm praying for you, obviously. And I need your prayer too because we got a, about a two and a half hour ride home and it's a little chilly out. So hang in there, y'all. It'll get better. We'll talk to you soon.